Well, what a pleasure it is to be here at the New Zealand Skeptics Conference, and I bring you greetings from the Australian Skeptics. Um, that's the other island, that way, somewhere. There's a, there's a sign near the airport, all these lovely arrows pointing. That, that way, is it? It's that way. <laughs> Uh, with, with, to cities all around the world. Now, I was there with Susan the other day, we looked at it, and of course, they're all sort of facing away. <laughs> so, so far south, it's, it's really interesting. Now, before I get started on my talk, uh, people have, these people have a general belief in New Age, say a lack of training, a lack of education, maybe. Some, I've heard the term willful ignorance. They won't look for other answers. They're happy with their belief system. Lots of them have business opportunities in this all this uh, new age energy. A lot of them have very large financial investments, and they don't want to rock that boat, and emotional too. Conspiracy theories, they distrust big companies or modern science or stuff like that. And there's the feedback loop, which happens with psychics a lot. It also happens with these people in, in this industry. So we have to explain this. Say so we have what I call the fish cycle. If you catch a, a small fish and the retelling of the fish gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it's like this. The feedback. You know, I caught a big fish, it keeps keeps growing. And it's fun and nobody cares, but it's this this growing of, of um, the, the, the original story. What happens with psychics and what happens with naturopaths and a lot of people? So where it says psychic reading, you can you can put naturopathic consultation or something like that. They, they go for a consultation or a psychic reading, um, the person, the patient, patient is, is pleased with the result, maybe they, they had a nice time, they think they're getting benefit. When they go back again, they will reinforce to the naturopath or the psychic how good they are. Yes, you were great, I'm coming back, can you please help me some more? And then these people will tell their friends, their friends turn up at the naturopath store and said, I've been recommended. So the naturopath or the psychic is getting this continual positive feedback. No wonder they believe in what they're doing. No wonder they believe them. And this is a great quote by Benjamin Franklin, who wrote under the name of Richard Saunders. He really did. <laughs> People ask me about that. They say, did you change your name? No. Um, there are no greater lies in the world than quacks, except for their patients. And what I think he was referring to then was once somebody believes in a remedy or a cure or something, you know, they're not lying as such. But they'll hang on to that. They'll just hang on to that regardless. It's a whole fascinating world of psychology when you get into skepticism. <laughs> and thank you very much, folks.